The forces acting on an aeroplane in straight and level flight are in balance. But an aeroplane often flies through turbulent air, which can upset its balance. To fly safely, an aeroplane must be stable. That is, it must regain its balance automatically when it's disturbed. When these objects are disturbed, each of them behaves differently. The ball takes up a new balance. This is called neutral stability. The vase moves right off balance. That's called instability. The toy returns automatically to its original balance. This is stability, and it is what we want in an aeroplane. If this aeroplane had neutral stability, and the pilot did not alter the controls, a disturbance would deflect it onto a new flight path, which it would maintain. That is, neutral stability. If this aeroplane were unstable, a disturbance would move it further and further away from balanced flight. Soon the situation becomes serious. That is instability. But a stable aeroplane comes back automatically. It practically flies itself. So objects can have neutral stability, instability, or stability. But it isn't always as simple as that. This toy is stable if it is pitched. unstable if it is rolled. And it has neutral stability if it is turned. An aeroplane too has three possible kinds of movement. Pitching, rolling, and yawing. These movements will often be combined. The aeroplane should be stable when it pitches, stable when it rolls, and stable when it yaws. Then it will be stable in flight. Longitudinal stability, pitching. If an aeroplane pitches, it ought to return to normal flight. This stability, longitudinal stability, is given by the tailplane. In normal flight, the tailplane gives little or no lift. It's the main wing which gives nearly all the lift. If the aeroplane pitches up, its inertia makes it continue for a short time along its original path. Then the tailplane is at an angle to the airflow and will start giving lift. As the tailplane has considerable leverage about the aeroplane's centre of gravity, it soon brings the nose down again. If the aeroplane pitches down, the tailplane gets a down mode and the nose comes up. If this action were too violent, a new sort of instability would arise. This is called dynamic instability. But in practice, the tailplane is designed so that a disturbance is gradually damped down.
The purpose of the tailplane then is to give the aeroplane longitudinal stability. Lateral stability, rolling. If an aeroplane rolls, it ought to return to normal flight. When an aeroplane rolls, it also side slips. As this happens, a side wind strikes it from the opposite direction. If the wings are set at an angle, called a dihedral, the lower wing is at a bigger angle to the side wind than the upper one and gets more lift. Increased lift on the lower wing tends to correct the roll. Also, the lift on the upper wing is likely to be decreased because the wing is shielded from the side wind by the fuselage. Dihedral and shielding now combine to restore normal flight. Even aeroplanes with little or no dihedral can be laterally stable because of this side wind. It's the effects of the side slip which results from a roll that gives the aeroplane lateral stability. Directional stability, yawing. If an aeroplane yaws, it ought to return to normal flight. What happens if an object which is moving forward suddenly yaws? At this moment, it is moving bodily in its old direction. The drag force on the front wheels is trying to turn it round even further, and the drag force on the back wheels is trying to straighten it out again. What happens depends on which force wins. The extra drag on a yawing aeroplane acts in the same way. To get directional stability, the force on the front of the aeroplane must be small and the force on the back must be big. The tail fin does the trick, just as the tail of a weathercock keeps it pointing into the wind. In these ways we get all-round stability. Longitudinal stability from the tail plane, lateral stability from the effects of side slip on the main wings, and directional stability from the tail fin. combine to give us a stable aeroplane, one which will return to balanced flight, however it may be disturbed.